Welcome to week three of the season and the latest Barrington Sports Monday Night Hockey. I'm Simon Mason and on this week's show we have the best of the action from Services match against Buckingham and all the goals from Wimbledon against East Grinstead. To begin with, we take our first visit to last year's Investec Women's Hockey League champion Surbiton. Both themselves and the visitors Buckingham were looking for their first victory of the season. Commentary is by Charlie Broom. Here is Webb, spreading it out to this right hand side for Surbiton. In comes the ball to the top of the circle, a chance on the turn. It's a decent save as the ball comes in. Wolven with the snapshot, but Williamson makes the comfortable save. And again, Surbiton bring it forward down that right flank. Towards the top of the circle. This is Cowan. Cowan still going. Has a little look. Drops it back out of the 23. Ball comes in. Oh, it's been a missed trap on the top of the circle. And Wolven pounces to make it Surbiton 1. Buckingham nil. And there was a missed trap at the top of the circle. It's Rebecca Hayward, number five, as the ball comes in. Pops up off her stick. And Wolven, all unmarked, makes no mistake. Again shifted to the right-hand side, where Atkinson feeds it down the line to Robinson. Robinson into the circle. It's been missed again in the circle by Bucks. This time, Zoe Shipley, the guilty party, and Joe Hunter benefits and doubles Surbiton's lead. Robinson plays it across, and just there, Shipley totally misses the ball, and Hunter needs no second invitation. Again, this right flank for Surbiton. Sees them attacking Bucks and... This is Hunter. Hunter, oh, there's a heavy challenge. The sh play's allowed to continue, and Hunter makes it 3 0. There could have been a penalty corner awarded for the tackle on Sarah Page. It was very heavy, but good driving from Hunter, who continues her run after playing the pass. Look at this challenge here. Very heavy on Page, but the play allowed to continue, and Hunter makes it 3 0. Now, what can do in this second half. Was well, that a trip by Holly, by Holly Webb? No, so by Sarah Page. We'll play on, say the umpires, and there's a chance here. Here's Hunter, and she selfishly plays it across to Page, who makes it 4-0. And I'm not sure Zoe Shipley is too impressed. Ball from Page, and Hunter, who already has two, could have made it a hat-trick, plays it across, but watch the reaction of number 11. Asks for the trip, but doesn't get it. Penalty corner. And it comes to Ansley. Good save. Rebound from Atkinson. And missed on the far post. I think it's Webb on the far post. Is it good save by Williamson with the left hand? Atkinson plays it across. And in fact, it's Joe Hunter. Good robbing from Webb. Still going, Holly Webb. Drops it out to Page. Nice skill from Page. Page back in towards Webb. It's still loose. Here's a chance for Calden. Calden scores. And it's 5-0. A little unlucky for Nolte in defence for Buckingham. But Calden makes the most of the lucky bounce. Have a look here. Webb just plays it back to Page. And a lovely bit of skill from Page to get round Farley. Plays it back in towards Webb and watch Cowan here after that ball is missed look at the attempted tackle and it falls back into Cowan's path is there to be a, a consolation for Buckingham here's Richards to Farley Farley rifles it in here's an opportunity good first save from Walker and a second as Nolte threatened. As Farley rifles this in. Nolte with the opportunity, but Walker out quickly. And keeps her goal intact. This has to be a consolation for Buckingham. It's uh, Richards once again. Good work by Phoebe Richards. Richards to the top of the circle. Shot comes in. 
wide of the mark. And that is the final whistle. The first win of the season for Surbiton. Surbiton 5, Buckingham nil. It was definitely good to get the three points. Obviously, we've had two draws already so far this season, so definitely really good to score some goals. Um, and just to play the way that we know we can, nice fluid hockey, passing and, and playing like a team again. We're hoping to just build on performances each week. So again, we built from last week's performance with a draw against Bowdoin. And obviously, we're looking to go to the European competition out in uh, Easter um, and just really improve from how we did last year. And this performance is just a step in the right direction, playing like the way we know we can. And we'll look to improve in each game. Elsewhere, East Grinstead put four past Leicester to register their second win of the campaign. Canterbury inflicted a heap more misery on Reading by winning 5-0. Second half goals here from Kirsten Green and Susanna Townsend completed the route. Holcomb played out an entertaining two-all draw with Clifton. Steph Elliott deflecting home at a penalty corner to give Holcomb a two-goal lead before Emily Kirkham scored twice in the last three minutes to rescue a point for her side. Finally, University of Birmingham continued their 100% start to the season with a comprehensive victory at home over Bowdoin Hightown. That result means that University of Birmingham retain their lead at the top of the table, with Canterbury and East Grinstead breathing down their necks, whilst at the bottom end Bowdoin Hightown, Buckingham and Reading all have just the one point each. Next, off to the Men's Premier League and Wimbledon against East Grinstead. Neither side have started this season off how they would have liked and it will be crucial for both sides' chances in the league to pick up three points here. Wimbledon driving forward down that right flank in towards Ali Brogdon, half cleared by Schwebs. And now Kirkham has lost out and here is Brogdon onto Roper! And Phil Roper gives Wimbledon the lead inside 10 minutes. And East Grinstead are still struggling in the league this season. Kirkham losing it at the top of the circle, fed in by Brogdon to Roper. And Roper beating Paddy Smith up by his left shoulder. So penalty corner for Wimbledon. And that is beaten. Smith and Faulkner on the post. And Roper doubles his account and Wimbledon's account on the day. Wimbledon 2, East Grinstead 0. Chance here for East Grinstead. It's Faulkner from the top of the circle. And Faulkner scores East Grinstead first goal of the league campaign. Two and a half matches in almost. Beats Bailey down by the right boot. And Bailey there just trying to shift the weight. Another chance for East Grinstead. It's gone to the other castle. And did that come off the top of the bar from Adam Seckle? Let's have a look. I think it hits the top of the bar. Mighty close to an equaliser. Here's Weir. Weir cutting inside Kirkham. Here's the free hit, which Wimbledon take quickly. Into the top of the circle. Still bouncing around and trying to get the shot away. Is Roper, but in the end, it's fallen to Casper Pfeiffer. And Casper Pfeiffer restores Wimbledon's two goal advantage. He just couldn't get it clear. Played into the danger area from Roper. And Pfeiffer playing at a cross goal. Beats Smith, who might have been expecting the touch from Phil Ball. Schwebs. Off the foot of Henry Weir, or off the stick of Weir. And Weir plays it forward. And Wimbledon in with a real chance here. Now, can they find the ball into the centre of the circle? They can. Here comes the shot. And it's missed the target by Casper Pfeiffer. A real opportunity for Wimbledon. He's Grinstead short-handed at the back. He doesn't test Smith. So E.G. get it out of the 23, up to the halfway line. Tack down the left-hand flank. The slip from the Wimbledon defence might let EG in here Condon with the shot good save from Bailey Condon with a follow up can he get the shot away 
A lot of wood sound in there and the penalty corner has been awarded. Condom with the opportunity gets the shot on target but Mike Hoare does well to get it out the danger zone but he does concede the penalty corner. A chance for EG and they find the back of the net. Adam Seckel with East Grinstead's second goal of the match. Breeze new life into this one. Beats Spaley down to his right hand side for the second time. Here is Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer down into the corner. East Grinstead made the tackle. They've won the free hit, but time is running out. And indeed, there is the final whistle. And it's a third consecutive defeat for East Grinstead this season. It's a first win of the new campaign for Wimbledon. Final score, Wimbledon 3, East Grinstead 2. I think we dominated in the first half, but we kind of lost our lost ourselves a little bit. We got a bit frantic in the second half and brought them back into the game from two, two pretty well-taken corners. But we're trying to expect to uh, try to grind them out and uh, make it a little bit easier for ourselves. It's great to get our first win under the belts, first of all. Um, we're always going to be kind of half an eye on Europe, but at the moment we're just taking every game as it comes. We've got big expectations from being the champions, but you know we think we can take that on and we can beat anyone in the league at the moment. Holcomb continued their great start to the season by beating Canick four goals to one. Sam Ward opened the scoring before Mark Daniel equalised on the reverse. Ward then got his eighth of the season from a penalty corner to put Holcomb back in front. Before Nick Catlin and then Ashley Jackson made the game safe in the second half. A double from Alan Forsyth and a rare open play goal from Andy Haywood gave Surbiton a 3-2 win away at Beeston. Hampstead and Westminster beat Canterbury thanks to a brace from Neil Hamilton and Reading got their third win in a row beating Brooklyn's Manchester University by three goals to one to retain their 100% record. All this means that there are three teams on maximum points with Canterbury and East Grinstead at the other end of the table having failed to pick up any points so far. Join us next week for more action from the English Hockey Leagues on Barrington Sports Monday Night Hockey 24-7.